In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to remove numerous items from a list. But there's one condition. We're not going to remove everything. We're only going to remove items that are not found in another list. So we're going through this contrived example with this backpack full of junk, and we only want to keep the healthy food, but this could be generalized to lots of different examples. Just consider this healthy here to be like this lookup table of things we want to keep, and we're going to remove anything that's not that from this backpack list. It doesn't just have to be food. It could be items you have and valuable items. Maybe you only want to keep things that are valuable. Whatever the example may be, I'm going to be teaching you how to do it. So we're going to get rid of the code we have here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take backpack and reassign it. I will be teaching you how to change backpack itself and not reassign it, but I'm going to save that for the end here. So for now, just follow along. And we're going to use something called list comprehension, which we're going to get into that in detail probably later on. But essentially for this example, we're going to go through all of the elements of backpack and we're going to keep them if they're in healthy. So here's what it's going to look like. We're going to say item for item in backpack. And then we will check if item is in healthy. So this is some weird syntax, but you can kind of think of it like this. We're going to keep an item and the item comes from backpack, but only if the item is in healthy and we can print backpack after this and running this and you can see now we only have kale chips. So it worked. Now there's one gotcha with this and I'm going to show you that now. And that is, it has to do with IDs. So if we print ID of backpack before, and then I copy this and paste it after running this, and I'll just expand the terminal just a little bit. You can see we have two completely different values. So if you were referencing this list somewhere else, that connection is going to be lost. It's not going to be this new updated list. We lost that. So if you need to just modify the same list, all you have to do is put square brackets here with a colon. And if you remember this syntax from the first Python series, this is how you slice a list. And this allows us to replace all of the elements in a list without actually creating a new list. So running this now, and you can see we have the same exact ID. So the original list is modified. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Stay tuned for the next one.